Lesson 6. Programming Content to Display on Your Tablet Welcome back to the Quick Start Guide for OpenSign. In this lesson, you'll learn how to find your tablet and program the content to display within OpenSign from your computer. To begin, log in to OpenSign through an internet browser on your computer using the username and password you received in your account confirmation message. Then, navigate to the Screen section of OpenSign by clicking on the Screens link at the very top of your browser window. Next, refer back to details you received from the OpenSign customer support team with the details of your account to find the name of your screen network. Click on its name in your browser window. You will now see a list of devices running on your screen network, and your new tablet will appear in this list with the nickname you assigned it in Lesson 5. If you need to find the registration details for your screen network, you can find this information by clicking the button near the top called How do I register a screen? A light box will be displayed with your screen network's email address and password. This information is entered when setting up a new tablet. See Lesson 5 for details. Now that your tablet appears in your OpenSign screen network, you can program which content you would like to display on the tablet. Start by clicking once on the name of your tablet and then click the Schedule button near the bottom of your browser window. A gray dialog box will appear over your screen, allowing you to create a new program for your tablet or to use an existing program. Click New and you'll now see seven fields in the dialog box. In the first two text fields, type in a name and description for your new program. The third, fourth, and fifth fields are all drop-down menus. To choose your content, select the name of your site in the third field. Select the name of the page that should display by default in the fourth field, and the orientation of your tablet in the fifth field. In the sixth field, you can set the number of seconds you'd like the tablet to wait after a customer has touched the screen before timing out and returning to the default page that you selected above. And in the seventh field, you can decide whether the tablet should download its content to display or stream it from the internet every time it's used. Unless you're instructed otherwise, check this option so the tablet downloads your content and plays it locally. Click the blue Save button at the bottom of the dialog box to save your new program, and then click the white X at the top right corner of the dialog box to return to your screen network page. Your tablet can now download and display your programmed content. You can edit the program for your tablet at any time by clicking on the Manage Manifests link near the top of your browser window and then clicking on its name from the list of programs in the manifest. That concludes this lesson on OpenSign. Download the PDF for a printable lesson guide that you can refer back to whenever you need help or to use to take notes. To proceed to the next lesson, click Next lesson.